Hello, my name is Leah Stevenson. I'm 25 years old. I am a senior women triple jumper. Hi, my name is Denise Archer. I'm 22 years old. Um, I'm a hurdler. Well, I've been doing athletics for basically my whole life. As soon as I could walk, I would watch on the TV. Growing up in a Jamaican household, that's who we looked up to when the Olympics came on. Is it what I expected? Yes, because I can't see myself doing anything else. Do I prepare myself mentally or is it habitual? I, I wouldn't know. But as an athlete, there's so much things that we go through mentally, but people don't know what we go through because they see us as a strong athlete. When you hear athlete, you think of strong, resilient, As I was at the top of the runway, a lot of stuff kind of got into my head. So I had the commentator saying that I was in fourth position now, that I had to jump further. I could see my coach on the sidelines, you know, looking at me like, you know, you can do it. And in my head, I was thinking, there is no way that I, I cannot get myself back into third position. I can do it. I think this is the best preparation I've ever done for a championship and that's purely just off the basis of being able to go back to scratch in training and condition myself because of Covid and I know, God willing, if I jump that distance I will be on the podium. Um, whether that distance makes me a British champion for the first time ever, we won't know until that weekend. So hurdles was my event, like when you see a hurdle, you see Sinise, when you see the hurdles, it has Sinise's name on the hurdles. I used to do hurdles. To a stage now where my friends were going to competitions that I would have loved to go to, but I, I couldn't get there and I didn't know the reason why. So I think I was at a plateau, so I wasn't going up, I was just on this constant line. Battling with myself mentally, I just kept telling myself I'm not passing all the hurdles, like there's American girls that are, they're just running fast. I can't do it. I just kept telling myself I can't do it. And my coach was like, Sneeze, you can do it. So going to hurdles now, I haven't even looked back at triple jump. I want to get better. I haven't come this far for me to just be at one place. I need to get higher and higher and higher. I think at the end of the day, everybody's put on a path in life. And I definitely think I was meant to come on this path and become a triple jumper. Coming to training, I doubt. On the train, when you wake up in the morning, I doubt. Because it's like, I'm doing all of this, what am I getting out of it? I need to, to just continue and to just jump as far as I can for as long as I can, um, as <laughs> my knees can take me and my hips. Um, from starting triple jump from, from so young, I would say coming in, um, just being an athlete all my life, let me say. But I just think with everything that you have against you in life, you've got to find that one positive thing. And I think for me, it definitely is athletic. Even, you know, you have times, you know, people get injured, like you know, Sinise, and I've been injured and I've come out of those adversities and come out to, you know, to be bigger and better. But you've got to, you know, at the end of the day, be able to rest your head and say, you know, you've done your best and that's all I want to do. I want to be able to say, I tried my best, I've done everything I could have done, I've left it all there on the track and in the end I've come out on top. I'm going to do all of it, all of this to, ne to not get anything. I'm, it's not going to happen. I haven't got what I've achieved yet. I haven't got what I, I want to be. So um, as, I, as Leah said and as I said before, I have faith. Setbacks happen but for you to overcome that setback, you deserve to achieve something and I know I will achieve something. But I just have to tell myself over and over and over again, sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. Do I stay disciplined? I would say athletics def definitely has disciplined me more. I'm hard on myself and I try to have a little bit of fun, but I have to discipline myself. Life doesn't end at injuries. You have to find a way to, you know, push for it. There's always going to be a day where you feel like the world is against you and, you know, you can't get to where you want to get to but you have to think of the positives and you have to think of where do you want to be to get to where you want to be you've got to think do what you need to do now so when you have the time that you need to do the other stuff you're able to do it carefree you can say yeah i achieved what i had to achieve and now i'm having fun 